Goodbye, little one. Have a good day, Cleo. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. So I intended to take you on the walk with me today, but when I got to the park, I realized that there was no charge in my phone. So I had a nice, pleasant walk in the park uh, with my own thoughts, and it was beautiful. I promise you, I did walk today, and then I went to work. What I wanted to share with you, though, was something fun that I saw in um, one of the little books that we keep in our bathroom. We have, you know, you know how people like to read on the John, so we have a collection of books in there. And one of the books we have in there is this book, 365 Days of Wonder, by R.J. Palacio. Uh, it was a book that I had gotten from my daughter years ago, and I guess she decided that she didn't want it in her collection, so she put it in the bathroom collection. And I thought, oh, this is one of those daily books, so I'll open it to today, which is September 18th, 2024, if you happen to be watching this at some other point in the future. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to find that day in the book right now um, because it was very timely and I wanted to share it with you. But sadly, I don't have my glasses with me, so I'm having a really hard time reading the dates. Okay, I'm almost there. Um, this is not very well planned. It's very impromptu, but that's part of the joy of doing this challenge is impromptu video making. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> um, so sorry. Here. Okay. And this is why it was so surprising, because when I opened the book to read what the quote was for today, it was this. Sometimes the questions are complicated but the answers are simple. And that quote was written by Dr. Seuss. And I thought it was so funny because the short that I posted yesterday was a Dr. Seuss quote. <laughs> um, Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. I love Dr. Seuss's quotes. Not only do I love his stories, for example, Green Eggs and Ham was the first book that I could read all by myself from cover to cover when I was four years old, but um, I just love his life quotes because they hold a lot of meaning. And when I opened that book today and found that that was the quote, I thought it was so perfect because of what happened yesterday, uh, because of the quote I shared with you yesterday, and it just kind of made me feel like, you know, everything is aligned well right now for me, even though I'm struggling with unmasking my autism right now, um, things are aligning. Even though my daughter is giving me a hell of a run for my money right now, <laughs> um, everything is aligning. It just reminds me that sometimes things are hard, but it doesn't mean they're going to stay hard. And there is another side to the hard times. Um, work was very hard for me today. I was very overstimulated by just the typical classroom noise that you would typically find in a second grade classroom. But because my autism is unmasking and I'm starting to like get comfortable with what my limitations are, uh, I gave my students many chances to, uh, opportunities to quiet down and I told them exactly what they could do to help quiet down the classroom because I was feeling overwhelmed. I was just completely honest with them. And um, they're kids, so I understand that they're not gonna be able to do that all the time, but I'm not gonna be able to like keep myself together all the time. I have for the last 26 years, and I, I can't always do it anymore. So near the end of the day, uh, I kind of had a what we call an autistic meltdown. Um, not screaming and yelling and crying, but just not holding it together so well. And I stood in the middle of the classroom and I put my hands over my ears and I just said in a loud, firm voice, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. Quiet down this room. I can't take this anymore. Um, I didn't cry, but I was definitely on the verge of tears. Um, 
And for a neurotypical person, that might be weird, but for a neurodivergent person who has uh, easily gets overwhelmed with sensory input, um, I, it was quite reasonable for me to feel that way at 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> um, pencils dropping, kids tapping on the tables, two kids were arguing in a corner over a pillow, um, two other kids were flipping the pages in their book, and uh, because of something that I struggle with, which is called misophonia, uh, which is a like an oral sensory issue. So what that is, is that um, I hear all like the din of the sounds that happen around an environment. I hear all of those sounds at, at an equal level. So if somebody's tapping their pencil in the back of the classroom, I hear that equally with the sound of my own voice. And I, I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but I basically can't drown out the din. Um, I can't not pay attention to it. And um, although I have a lot of strategies in place uh, for behavior management and for, yeah, and for behavior management around those things, um, right now during my unmasking of my autism, uh, it doesn't matter because <laughs> uh, my patience is limited. Anyway, uh, that's, that's what I've been struggling with lately. But I know that there is another side to uh, the struggle. I know that I'm going to like get through this and this process that I'm going through is just temporary. Um, and that's why that Dr. Seuss quote from yesterday is important to me because the people who matter to me will be fine as I unmask my autism. They will be patient, they will love me, they will learn how to support me. And the people who don't matter to me, uh, random people who might be watching this video who are not part of the community and don't know me well enough yet or are, you know, trolls, I don't, I don't care what they think. Um, but the people who come here um, who know what it's like to be neurodivergent or who have come to know me over the last few months that I've been growing this channel, you guys matter to me and I know that you will um, hold space for me around this time that I'm getting through in my life. So um, there is actually a lot that I wanted to talk about today but I don't want this video right now to go on and on because I actually really need some time to unwind from my day uh, today. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to tell you all thank you so much and uh, for being with me. At this moment right now I have 848 subscribers. I'm getting real close to 850 and when I have 850 subscribers that means I'm only 150 subscribers away from a thousand. And I'm so excited about that because that's like such an important YouTube number. <laughs> um, it's a random number in all other areas of life, but in YouTube, that's an important number. So um, I'm getting close and that's thanks to you all. Um, I will ask that if you know anybody who also is um, neurodivergent or newly neuro understanding that they're neurodivergent and... Mm, like unmasking or becoming comfortable with their new identity, so to speak, um, please let them know about my channel because I think that I could be of service um, and just be helpful. There is plenty of other neurodivergent content creators that I look to for support, so I hope to be that for other people. Um, that's it. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to post this video to you all. And um, hopefully my phone will be charged tomorrow <laughs> as I take my morning walk in the park. Um, have a great night or morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this. Bye.